Hey guys, and welcome to Crazy Days. You know I like getting gifts. Well, this one is no exception. I knew it was coming, but I had to open it anyway. Um, it is from Lehman's Hardware. It is an apple core, and it's from somebody special. It's from Living on a Dime. Tara asked if I would use it, and I don't have any apples right now, so I can't use it, but... I was super excited to get it, and uh, I never had an apple peeler, and this one is, it hooks to a cabinet, and let's see if I can get it where you can see. It hooks to a cabinet, and um, you just turn it, and it's supposed to peel your apples. So we're not in apple season right now. Our apples came in a couple of months ago, but we're gonna put this to good use. If nothing else, I'll go buy some apples just so I can try it. And, okay, let's see what else. <gasps> Look, dining on a dime. I didn't have her cookbook. Thank you, Tara. Um, this is awesome. How about I make one of these recipes? I'll look through here and find something. And we're gonna do Dining on a dime at Deep South Homestead? I think I can do that. One of Living on a Dime's recipes. And we will make something. Oh, man. There just looks like there's lots of good recipes in here. Um, this is Dining on a Dime. You can get it. I'm going to try and link her uh, description below. So if you want one of these, you can order it. This is a good size cookbook, guys. Now, mine's a small cookbook, I'm sorry, but this one is a good size, and it should be a lot of um, frugal ideas on cooking. So, we're gonna try, I'm gonna call it Living on a Dime at Deep South Homestead, and we're gonna do one of her recipes from Dining on a Dime. So, thank you, Tara. And, paper, 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 paper. Okay. This is the hook that puts it to the counter. And this is the device. So you're gonna stick your apple on these prongs and as you turn, it's going, I can't, I don't know if I can hold it and turn it. But you have gears here, here, down here, and across here. So that's a lot of gears and this peels as it goes through. This has a little sharp blade on it. So I'm going to be excited. I, if I'd have thought about it, I would have gotten apples in town just to try it. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to get some, possibly after the gathering, I will get apples. I will do something with the apple peeler and see how we like it. And Tara, I'm going to do a living on a dime deep south way on our Deep South homestead, doing it Deep South way, whatever. We're gonna do something, living on a dime, from the dining on a dime, the Deep South way. And Tara and Mike are good people at living on a dime. We would love to invite you to come on down to Deep South and we'll have a ball, I promise you. We're gonna cook a recipe from dining on a dime and see how we can flip it. Hi guys, we're back. We are working on one of Living on a Dime's recipes from their cookbook, Dining on a Dime. And the recipe is on page, um, I don't know, like Tara does. Let me, let me show you. Okay, Dining on a Dime, page 186, and it's hash. So, just before I brown, Beef. All right, I've got onions and peppers. The peppers are fresh from the garden. The onions are some I had in the freezer that I'd already cut up. And I'm just letting them saute down while while on the other burner we have quinoa. Now my quinoa is ready. In the hash, it calls for rice. Here at Deep South, I always change things. So, 
We're doing quinoa. It's ready to go in the recipe. And peppers and onions are sauteed down and we're adding ground beef. I'm gonna brown my ground beef and then I'm adding salt and pepper and chili powder and tomatoes, y'all. 13, it was done in July of 13. Can y'all believe that? So tomatoes, we're gonna add this to it. And we're gonna pour it into a casserole dish and bake it for nearly an hour. We're gonna see if living on a dime's hash recipe is something that Deep South would wanna be cooking for company next week. We're practicing this week. Ground beef, onions, and peppers are sauteed. I've added some salt, some pepper, some of my own garlic that I ground. And she didn't call for garlic, but I like garlic. And chili powder. And we do this to taste, okay? Then our 2013 tomatoes. We're going to heat this and pour it in this and bake it. And it says bake at 350 for one hour and it says to cover it. So I have tin full and we will be covering it. Okay, so we've added our quinoa to our mixture. I'm going to stir it up and let it get good and hot and we're going to add it to our bowl over here. And that's what it looks like. There you have Living on a Dime's Hash Made Deep South Way. All right, here we have our living on a dime hash, mashed potatoes, and green beans. And I used quinoa instead of rice. And guys, this is really good. I think I'll make this next week while we have company. So this is living on a dime at Deep South Homestead. Thank you, guys.